here today looking at the Gladius Air Rifle from Hot Sun, which well, I usually don't fool with air rifles. In fact, I've uh, got them in before and sent them back because most air rifles that come in, they got a, a big you know, spring cocking mechanism and it just takes too much effort to cock the darn things. They, they're just aggravating to use and wouldn't do it. This one came in and it, it's pretty cool. It's a bullpup configuration. It's got a lot of nice features on it. As you can see, it's got a, a Picatinny style rail on top. It's not Picatinny spec on the top one. These side ones and bottom and the other side, they are Picatinny spec. So uh, Picatinny accessory bolt run runner. These, the notches are different on it, but it'll accept uh, either the uh, small tip off rings, like you use on the 22 rifle, or the full size rings, like I got here with this uh, Trizicon 5 to 20 uh, Acupro scope on it. But some unique things I really like about this, one is uh, the magazine. These are 12 shot magazines that hold extras down here in the bottom. As you can see, they come with four magazines. Got the three extras that stores them down here in the bottom. You can carry loaded magazines with you in the bottom of the thing. Uh, the cocking effort on it is just real easy. You hardly no effort at all. You pull this back and that's all it takes. And when you do, it advances the magazine to the next one. So you've emptied your 12 shots. You close it. You're safe. It's automatic safety on it. You gotta get used to that. It takes a little while for me. I'm not used to automatic safety, but every time you cock it, that safety goes on. But it is easy to operate. It's inside the trigger guard. You push it forward like on the ground, and you're ready to pop. And it puts a little pellet out there. Now, the uh, there's adjust, uh, adjustable power on this. It, uh, it's got six different settings, and it'll go from a low of 436 feet per second, this is over my chronograph, to 875 feet per second, fired over my chronograph 10 feet from the muzzle. It advertises a maximum of 970, that's probably about right. It uses a compressed air cylinder here that you can uh, you can fill them at uh, scuba diving shops or paintball shops, you can fill it up, put that much pressure in there. It's a uh, 255cc, I believe it's correct. Yeah, 255cc, uh, air capacity in it, which you give you at maximum setting, give you about 45 shocks. And on the low power, you get about 80 shocks out of it before you have to refill that cylinder, or they sell optional cylinders. You can pop one out, pop one in, and you're ready to go again, or we've got the optional pump here. It has a hose that goes on right here, but it's a real high quality, high pressure pump that lets you pressurize that thing. This is optional, don't come with it. But this one here is a 22 caliber. They also come in a 177 or 17 caliber and 25 caliber. This 22 caliber shoots a 19.9 .9 grain pellet uh, from them or any 22 caliber post. These are unique little pellets. Come in the box with it. They've got like it's called a Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Looks like a Phillips screw point in the front of it, but through a dandy little pellet. And as far as accuracy, I'm uh, shooting this at 25 yards. It'll shoot in the same hole all day long at 25 yards. There's no group size to it. It's the same hole. Uh, it's a very accurate uh, weapon. It also has a sound suppression built into it, which air rifle's not allowed anyway, but it makes it quieter than most air rifles. So if you live somewhere like a neighborhood that you can't uh, be shooting a, a, a cartridge firearm and there's things you need to control around, like some pests, like, you know, your squirrels are chewing up your wife's flowers or whatever, or, or you got a, a pesky cat coming around that's, you know, killing your cats and birds and songbirds and things like that. Something like this is ideal for popping. It has the power to take it out, make good head shocks, easy to make good head shocks. It's easy to use. It's a bit heavy for a pellet gun. It's a little over 10 pounds, but that's because of the heavy duty construction. I used to don't care much about pellet guns, but this one I really like. You know, I'd rather have a cartridge firearm myself, but if you got to be real quiet, don't have a suppressed 22 or something, something like this works. And the good thing about it, most places you can buy this, just like buying a sack of taters. No paperwork or anything, just go in and give me your money and take it. Well, you don't know what it costs. I tried to find the MSRP on it. I couldn't, <clears throat> but it's from Hot Sun. It's called the Gladius, and they're available. And if you need a, a high quality uh, pellet rifle with some adjustable stock, adjustable butt on it. Everything on it is set up just right. Uh, check them out. The Gladius comes in this deluxe hard case. It's pre-fitted for it. I was really surprised to see that 
with that big trizicon scope on it, it's cut just right for it. So they're, they're planning on using a nice big scope on it, but it fits nicely in here. Comes with a sling. It goes on. It does have sling swivels on there if you want to use this for hunting rifle. Comes just like this with the uh, box of pellets in there. So they go down here in this little hole. And it's just a, seems like a dandy air rifle, but from hot solid. A lot of fun, very quiet, very efficient, powerful enough for small things, and it's just fun to play with. Those first three shots, I was on the lowest setting of the power, which shoots these 22 caliber pellets out here at about 480 feet per second. Now I've cranked it up to full power, and uh, we'll be running about 875 feet per second with the same size 22 caliber, approximately 19 grain pellet. Gun's a little bit louder. putting out a lot more power on that setting. If you notice here we've got a 12 shot magazine. Zoom in here bulge if you will. Watch that, that magazine will rotate as we cock this thing. Very little effort to cock it at all. Not like some of the guns it just takes three hands and a mule to cock the darn thing. This is really easy to operate. That's going to rotate to the next one. When you pull that it rotates around automatically sets the safety and you're ready to go again.